little workflow with you guys in a very short video. And so this is Joshua Tarbutton. And what I'm doing is I'm using the uh, Wacom Intuos uh, tablet for my uh, writing input. Uh, I have it mapped to uh, one of my screens and I have a two screen system. And I'm using the uh, Wondershare uh, Filmora screen recorder to record my screen. Audio, I am using a Blue Yeti mic and to uh, capture my, uh, my, my um, <clears throat> writing input, I use SmoothDraw. And this is pretty much uh, a workflow for the Khan Academy videos. And so when you first open SmoothDraw, you're gonna get a canvas. You're gonna have a lot of different options. And you got your pens up here and you can pick your different colors. And so what I've done is I basically took the uh, Khan Academy color map and they have a website here uh, for Khan Academy where they give you some uh, different tips. And it's basically this Khan Academy. If you Google, how do I recreate Khan Academy videos? It should take you here. What I did is I basically just stole the colors that he had on his website here. And so <clears throat> what I do is after I get smooth draw set up, I come down here and then I resize the screen. Okay, and then I resize it so that it's the same as the uh, video window. In this case, it's for HD. Okay, so you can take the HD settings directly from the Filmora app. In this case, they're 1280 by 720. I'm recording, so I can't change them. Um, so I want to make the canvas size to be the same as the screen size. And so you can just go in here and then do 1280 and then go down to the 720. 20 okay and that'll give us the same resolution that we're recording at and obviously that size of, that that increases in size and so I can open it up <clears throat> and then I can resize it to where that canvas is right into that um, recording view then what I do is I come in and I go back to the options really and I make it as tall as I can so that I can scroll up while I'm doing my lecture. So I'll go back to the resize option and I think the largest is 4096 <clears throat> for this. And what that basically allows me to do is I can start up here and then I can write and then I can scroll up and I can use it kind of as though I had multiple chalkboards. <clears throat> okay, so that's how I set up my canvas size. Uh, Khan Academy, they recommend that you set up your uh, screen so that you have a black background. And so what I'm going to do is just open up one of my uh, saved lecture note templates. So when I go in here to the file, uh, I'll go here to one of my more recent uh, lecture notes. And so you can kind of see how that looks. So I, I size it to where the screen here is shown where it's recorded. And then I can write <clears throat> here, and this is basically the notes that we uh, derived for friction. You can see we have pretty high contrast. Um, so if I go down here, I can go to my tablet, and I'm just going to highlight some shortcut keys. Okay, so if you hit F1 through F8, you can assign a color to those. It's pretty straightforward. You can um, right click on the color to set it and you can pick your different pens by selecting your number key. I use the felt tip pen which is a four and then you'll notice when you hit that sometimes the brush size changes so I keep the brush to around uh, four and then I go down here to the settings and I put the minimum brush size to about something around 50% and I put the ink flow to something around 50% and that seems to be, I have to set this every time I open it, but it's free software, so can't complain too much. And then I can hit OK. So now I have the Intuos uh, tablet, and I've mapped it over here to this screen. And I can basically uh, start writing. Uh, <clears throat> you won't see anything because I have the black ink selected. So if I hit F2, uh, you see this change appear, F3, F4, it changes according to what these are set and I can start 
my lecture. All right, so this is my workflow. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them or suggestions on how to make it better. And uh, that's it. Have a good one.